Chancellor, Pro-Chancellor, Chairman, President, Honored Guests, Professors, Fellow Graduates, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is a tremendous privilege to be back giving a graduation speech for the class of 2006. I rejoice with you as we experience this enchanted moment together. We have waited for years for this day to come, the day which our endeavor finally pays off. Just think for a moment how we have finally gathered ourselves here today. We come from diverse backgrounds, and each of us has an untold story. Some of us were school leavers, some were graduates, and some even had the experience in different kinds of professions. We started off very different, but we finished all together, the same together. I remember the first day when I came through the red doors through City U. I was shocked by the hustle and bustle of the university campus. With much difficulty, I found the School of Law office, which was, and still is, hidden in a corner of the academic building on the fifth level. Our School of Law is a closely knit community. We know each other pretty well, and we grow up together. We attended lectures at 10.30 a.m. every morning, although I sometimes come in late in order to gain more sleep. We elbowed each other into the library as we rushed into the library to grab the resource that we need for a piece of assignment. Well, some of us were more civilized, and we tried to use the electronic ca library catalog in order to uh, reserve the book that we need for a particular piece of assignment. But I tell you, if you do that, you probably find yourself to be the 11th person in the queue to the whole shelf. Indeed, if Hart and Professor Fuller were still alive today, they themselves would be proud of how CityU students are discussing their debates. When I look back, I can see that we shared many lovely memories. Coming to the School of Law has meant something different for each of us. Some may want to practice at law, as lawyers, or some want to get, get, go into academia. Some may want to take a break from their previous careers, while some others want to gain legal knowledge to help with their daily lives and their work. When I was asked this very question three years ago, why do you want to read law? My answer was a very dull one. I want to become a barrister. But if I were to, to be asked this question again today, I would at least try to explain it to you in a more elegant way. I love the law. Our system of the rule of law is one of the most fundamental blocks of a free and a liberal society. Our customs, our traditions, are what constrains human beings from becoming pieces of the kind portrayed in a lot of the flies. One principle among these institutions is the rule of law. The rule of law is like a referee in a football match. Within the boundaries of the playing field, a player is free to do whatever he or she likes. But when a rule of the game is breached, the whistle must be blown to call for a foul. Without the law, there are only two possible alternatives, chaos and tyranny. The class of 2006 at City University of Hong Kong has waddled through their degree in the midst of the most politically unstable period of Hong Kong. We received our legal education at a time that the rule of law was most beckoned by our society. The world is watching us. Our society calls for the rule of law to ground the principle of one country, two systems. In this respect, the school of law has provided its students with a first-class education, and so we are prepared to face whatever challenges that the world has to offer. So Kao Popa once said, a legal system must not only be properly built, it must be properly manned. Indeed, our school of law has, and will continue to nurture, top-notch legal brains of the highest integrity for the service of the rule of law in Hong Kong in, in, our, in our country. I emphasize in the word, Integrity, because lawyering is not 
only a trade. It should not be. It should not be only a sale of legal knowledge. It is also an art. It is also a big test of one's personal conduct. After all, no brilliance is needed in the law. Nothing but common sense and relatively clean fingernails. The, the English playwright, Sir John Mortimer, appreciated it pretty well. Let me conclude by thanking our parents, our families, our loved ones for their support and patience. I and to teaching faculties, may I summarize uh, teaching faculties, administrative staff, and law librarians, may I summarize our heartfelt gratitude to you into five words. Thank you for enlightening us. You are the wind beneath our wings. God bless the, God, the class of 2006. Good luck, for tomorrow is a new beginning. Let us try to make this world a better place by example and by struggle. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I declare this congregation closed.